Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Shanika and I am bringing you guys the very first Q&A of the year. It is the very first Asaja Q&A of 2021. I'm only going to touch on maybe two to three questions um, today in this video and hopefully if the video isn't too long then I will go ahead and feature um, an ASCP question of the day. So before we get into this video, you guys already know what to do. Go ahead and thumbs up this video if you find this content helpful at the end of the video. And also do not forget to join the game. Turn your post notifications on so you guys know each and every time that I upload a new video. Now let's go ahead and get into the Q&A. Okay, so I decided to do the first Q&A of the year based upon um, me going to Kaiser University. Some of my gang um, actually reached out to me and informed me that they are too looking to attend Kaiser University. And I get a few questions like, how did I like the school? Um, was the school expensive? What was my schedule? How was the program? Should they do the program? And those are some of the things I'll be touching on in this video today. Um, before we get into the video, though, I do want to let you guys know that I try to make sure that, you know, I let you make the decision for yourselves, of course and um you know and i'll just give you my input kaiser then versus kaiser now may be totally different so if you guys are currently in the program i love to hear your experience down below in the comments or any other video for that matter just so i can know exactly what is your experience um going to kaiser and disclosure you may hear my dog um, playing with his toys so just go ahead and ignore that so um, if you are living in the state of Florida and you are familiar with Kaiser University um, it is a private school that has the histo technology program you can receive your associate's degree um, at this school there's a couple pros and a couple cons with attending Kaiser University um, like I said before this is just my experience with attending Kaiser University but um, there I think are two locations one in southern florida and one of course in orlando program is very very saturated so that would definitely be uh, a positive and a negative so we'll get into some more details about my experience and i'll go ahead and answer your guys questions about attending kaiser university if you are deciding to attend kaiser university or um, what other options may be out there for you you guys know that i always stress about doing online um, if you can do school online and find your own lab to do an externship with, that would save you lots and lots of money. But if Kaiser University is your only option, you're definitely wanting to get a career in histology. I definitely do not, you know, look down upon that because that's exactly what I did and that actually changed my life. So, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into our first question. Okay, so this first question comes from Miss Sweetie, 7504. She hit me up and she said, Hey Shanika, I'm reaching out to you because I came across your YouTube channel and I was looking into information on histology. I'm reaching out to you because I want to know how did you like the histology program at Kaiser? Did you go part-time or full-time? And um, thank you for your content on YouTube. So thank you so much for your comment. I definitely appreciate you guys supporting the gang and watching me and I hope that you find this content valuable. I've already answered your question privately, so I'll go ahead and just, you know, answer your question publicly just in case other fellow gang uh, members have gang members. Does that say, does that even sound legal? Because for anyone who is a part of this community, you guys got the same questions. Um, this may help to answer your question. Um, the first thing is, I want to say thank you for supporting the channel and supporting the gang and joining the gang. Thank you so much for that. And as far as the information for histology, because you already live, you know, in an area to where you can probably attend Kaiser University, um, things are a little bit probably different because of the pandemic. So whenever I was in school, I was able to actually be a full time student because I wanted to make sure that I was able to get through the program and get through the program quickly. And also I only had maybe a year and a half to do the program because I transferred um, over my prerequisites um, over to Kaiser University. So that really truly helped me get ahead and probably only had like maybe one or two 
courses before I actually got into the actual core program. So you guys, um, check out my other Q and A's, um, that I did on my channel. I'll go ahead and leave the video in the link somewhere right here or at the end of the video. Um, and it'll definitely tell you, you know, my transition as far as like school and how I stumbled onto the program. The main video is definitely how to get into histology. That video is doing great. It's all because of you guys. How to get into histology would definitely be the opener of your career because that shows you how I stumbled upon histology and um, how I actually got into the field. Um, as far as me going part-time or full-time, I had to choose full-time and um, I actually worked part-time for a little bit, but it was really, really hard because um, the hours were from like 8 a.m. to like 1.30 p.m. So, and I had to work a part-time job afterwards and I really wasn't getting paid like anything. Like I was working in an assistant living facility and going to school full-time, so I was hella broke <laughs> and I made a lot of sacrifices there was some other personal things going on in my life, but just trying to, you know, take care of a family and work and go to school and just having that support system was really, really important. So if you got to, if, if you have to do this alone and it's just been like, you know, you're trying to get back into the course of things, or you're trying to get back into school and you're just trying to find that motivation to keep pushing definitely dig deep make sure that this is something that you truly want to do if you are truly looking for a change in your career then you have nothing to lose but everything to gain to be honest with you you're going to gain some student loan debt cha-ching <laughs> that's just inevitable you're going to gain the student loan debt because the school is hella expensive and it's private i would not change that for the world because i would not be able to give you guys my experience and do these types of videos and be able to be where i'm at today if i had not taken the chance of you know going to kaiser this program was very unfamiliar to me i was very much scared i was intimidated like i said i was going through a lot of things in life i did not want to go to school but i knew i had to do something else because i was working at a call center um in florida and i have been the call center life pretty much like forever and i was just like i need to make a change i'm going to community college but i just didn't really know what to do it's, that was just my backstory so you we all have a backstory so i would definitely tell you if you are already looking into histology you don't have to go to school forever you already got some you know prerequisites under your belt and you're able to be focused and actually like go to school right now especially during this time especially during the pandemic where you can probably focus more on school and probably work from home it's just it'll probably make life a little bit easier because you're able to focus a little bit more because what else do we have to do yeah we still have to work but everyone is not working right now and it's probably giving you an opportunity to check out and do other things you know until the world gets back to normal and then once again i am a living testimony even during the pandemic you will still have a job so you guys are in school right now and you are thinking about am i going to have a job during the pandemic am i still going to have a histology job once i graduate once i take my test the answer is always yes histology as long as someone is having a biopsy there will always be a histotech period 